Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We're here at Katy, Texas, Chinatown. And we're here eating the Heidi Lao hot pot. Heidi Lao is actually a chain hot pot restaurant. And honestly, I've been eating Heidi Lao since like years ago, 10 years ago. I used to eat it all the time back in Beijing, China. But this is the first time I eat Heidi Lao in America. Is it as good as the authentic Heidi Lao hot pot in China? Let's go in and check it out. Heidi Lao hot pot. We were trying to see if we can join the wait line on Google or Yelp but for some reason we couldn't so we just have to wait in line Ta -da! I want to be on the left there we go all right the order system is very similar to China, so it's easy. We can do double flavor or four flavor. Let's do the four flavor. Four flavor. Four. Do you want a spicy one? Yeah, you gotta get one spicy at least. At least. Okay. So Justin likes spicy. Miso soup? I got the pork stomach and chicken soup base, but then we can get a pork bone or tom yum. No mushroom for me. Uh, the pork bone, hot and spicy. So protein. This chunk flat beef. USDA choice ribeye. Wagyu shoulder. Beef tongue. Uh, I, I think ribeye tastes the best. Yeah. Okay, always. get the USDA ribeye. Okay. They're all kinds. Shrimps. Oh, I remember the shrimp cheese balls taste good with these. We had it in China, right? I know, they taste good. <laughs> we had this one in China. It's good. exactly the same menu right, as in I'm China. Sure to say. <laughs> yeah. Okay, get some duck blood. You want a frog leg, Justin? Gotta get spam. The sort of seafood platter. Have to get the shrimp paste. It's the best. And then they have the tripe. They have the marinated of beef orda. Cook for two minutes. There we go. Put a show. I hope they do it right here. Okay, here's the vegetables. It's a mixed vegetable platter. No. Japanese yam. Winter melon. Taro. There we go. This is where the pot will go. They give you a little appetizers. And here's our drinks. There's a little like uh, water over there. Of course, they give you a little apron. So when you eat hot pot, sometimes it splatters out. But you don't have to worry when it splatters out because then you have this apron thing. <laughs> so you don't make your clothes dirty, which is very, very, very nice. They also have the little robot to deliver stuff, which is super, super cool. I saw one when I was like walking by the hallway. I hope we can get one on camera. Here's our little appetizer thingies. Ta-da! I got the four flavor. So I got spicy bone broth and then tomato. Oh, spicy. I think that's the pork. Da -da -ha. So you can get two flavors or four flavors. Of course, we want to try the four flavors. You guys, look at the robots. <gasps> look how cute. There's another robot. So please wear gloves so it's safe. And the bowls. All right, here. So you always want to get the sesame sauce. Cilantro. Some chai flower sauce. A little bit. Uh, maybe some pangzu. Just a little bit. There, no, that's too much. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, crispy soy bean. What do you want? So that, that thing, yeah. And then some minced peanuts. And they give you the long chopsticks. So when you put your chopsticks in there, it doesn't burn you. See, that's how good it is. Those are super long chopsticks. Here's the robot. Lobster ones. Oh, the lobster balls. And then the shrimp. And then the vegetables are over here. Bye. Thank you. Bye. The robot is gone. <laughs> and then we got an extra cart of, of meat and stuff. That's the duck blood. I think this one would be red meat first. Stop first. 
Yeah. Makes it really yeah. awesome. Put the root stuff. Put some in each one. Yeah, that's some pretty good chopsticks work right there, baby. I already know I'm gonna like this too. Viso, I know is is a waste. Viso is no good. Tomato I, tomato, I can eat the spicy one too. Because I don't think that one is super spicy. We'll find out. ordered all kinds of other stuff. It's okay. Oh, it's not ready. It's ready. This is so thin. No, it's. This is so thin. I guarantee you this is ready. Compared to what you normally, I guarantee this is not spicy. So, you take it out, right? And then you dip it in the sauce. It's a sesame plus peanut plus a bunch of other stuff. It's all mixed good with the sauce. And you put it in your mouth. Hmm. I think we can look at more of this beef. Yeah, tomato tastes like tomato. I made sauce very good. The spicy one doesn't taste very spicy because it's a spicy bone broth. It's not the actual like spicy, like numbing spicy. I'm gonna put in the mushrooms. I put in some miso. I think this one will taste good in miso. I think it would taste good in miso actually. That, yeah, it's very mild because it's a bone broth. It's not the hot oil one. The mushrooms are in. I only got pork belly. I think we should order more beef. We gotta eat first. Let's see if the taro is ready. I think it's ready. It looks ready. I told you. The taros are beyond ready already. Put it in the sauce. Dip it in there. Ah. Uh, Appreciate that they give you the taro. The taros are super good, super creamy. Taro kind of tastes like potatoes, but better. Ta da! This is a um, ladle special for. Let's see, do we put anything in this? I think miso flavor smells very good. Kind of, you know, they're like Japanese hot pot places where everything is like Japanese flavor. It kind of tastes like that. Oh, I was thinking about going there, but I look at the menu. I do think like this place is way better. Potatoes. Okay, put in the duck blood in the spicy one. The duck blood. She offered me some lace and she told me it would take me places Now I can feel my face and I'm pretty sure she left some traces Some good, some bad Doesn't matter if it feels amazing Grab me by the waist, now she wanna tell me something crazy Four days, four nights, I'm losing track of time and I wonder who am I Four eyes, yours, mine, and I wonder who you might be Till you open up your mouth and say No curves, no nothing what you see when you look at the horizon? No earth, no just flat. No black holes, but it's none of that. Uh, no curves, no nothing. What you see when you look at the horizon? No earth, just flat. No black holes, but it's none of that. But I realized she would never change it Been with her for hours and it's starting to be really draining My God, oh man I remember when it felt amazing At least she didn't lie when she told me she had something crazy Four days, four nights, I'm losing track of time And I wonder who am I Four eyes, yours, mine And I wonder who you might be till you open up your mouth uh, Four days, four nights, I'm losing track of time And I wonder who am I Dip it in my sauce. 
sauce. Yummy, yummy, my tummy. I'm gonna throw some pork belly in. Do you like that one, Justin? The pork bone broth one, it's actually pretty good. It has a lot of umami flavor. I actually like the pork bone broth a lot. <laughs> She was like talking all in Chinese with y'all. I had no idea what you were saying. She said, are you guys having a good meal? I said, yeah. Get us some noodles, Brandon. Don't overcook it. It's been too... Just a little bit. Yeah. You need to get it out to a clean plate regardless if you're going to eat it or else it melts. Ta-da! Or else, like the noodles will overcook. You got my duck blood. That's the shrimp paste. This noodle thing. Oh, oh, oh. Hand pulled noodle. Mix it in the sauce. Mm. Really good hand pulled noodle. Okay, fun good. Shrimp balls. Xiaohua shrimp paste. Xiaohua. No, Xiaohua. No, it's not Hua, it's a Hua. It's a Hua. Ah. There we go. Shrimp balls. Very good. Very tender. These are ear fungus more. Do you play Warzone, Justin? This looks like a big chunk. Let's try the frog leg. Frog legs. It tastes like chicken, trust me. It tastes oh, like go. chicken. Go Dip there into my sauce. Frog leg tastes like frog leg. It doesn't have an extra flavor though. Yeah, it tastes like chicken but more tender. But since it's not too spicy, I wouldn't. I don't think the frog leg -like is very flavorful in a hot pot because we didn't buy the super spicy base. If you buy the super spicy base, it will be way more flavorful. Uh, I like this frog leg better than the frog leg that you normally get. Really? Yeah, this frog leg was actually kind of big. It's big and meaty. It's pretty good though. Yeah, frog leg is good. To a place called Peak Impression. Oh, we got we got a Peking duck from there. Take a look. This is the shrimp and cheese meatballs. These are good. These are good. It has like cheese melt inside. That's amazing. Oh yeah. My favorite is the Japanese tonkatsu soup base and the pork broth with spice. Those two are our favorites. All right, let's try the fish sauce. Oh, look at the sauce. Oh. Everybody, all the work. Tastes so good. Get the shrimp cheese meatballs. It's pretty fun. Our favorite. Walking around. All right, so this is the lobster meatball. So apparently, this one tastes even better than the shrimp ones. The shrimp with cheese. What do you? Why do you think it's better? Tastes fine. <laughs> no, he said it has a more cleaner flavor of lobster. You can taste like the lobster flavor, but it's very soft and tender. When you bite in it, it's like juiced out. There we go. See, like in the middle, it has like some sort of like juice. Juice, lobster Probably. juice. It's too hot to one bite. Yeah, it's one bite it's, thing, it'd be way better, but it's too hot. Yeah, it's too hot. You have to buy one and then let it steam out, or else it may burn yourself because the liquid inside is pretty hot. Right. Yum. Good job, Justin. 
So overall, what's your favorite thing to eat here? If you're gonna come back again, spam. <laughs> this guy has no taste. What, what's your favorite thing, Justin? The, the what? The ribeye. The ribeye. I think the ribeye is the probably the best. I like the vegetables, but the ribeye definitely like it's very tender. And when it just get like soaked into the soup, it definitely tastes better. I think the ribeye and the lobster balls are pretty good. And then like definitely order the noodles for the show. It's pretty fun to watch. So yeah, that's it for today's video. We also ate hot pot in different cities and stuff. So I'll link some of our food review videos down below in the description box. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up. And I hope to see you soon. Adios. Digest.